Hello and welcome back to Open Wheel Manager 2. We're still in early access and if you're part of the Discord, you're going to be seeing that the developers are definitely making a lot of progress in cleaning up bugs and putting in new improvements to the game. So <coughs> um, we're, we're still just trucking along. Uh, as the, you know, the, the improvements come, we'll, we'll take those in stride. And uh, we haven't run into any big kind of game breaking bugs yet. Although, you know, we're still in early access, right? So we're there's a little bit of an expectation for that. Um, anyway, put that, putting that aside, we are uh, two races in. We are headed to China next. And still, you know, trying to make our car better. Our drivers are pretty good. However, Zelich has crashed out um, in both races. So we need to be making his car a little bit better. We still have two problems to fix um, with our chassis, and we do not have enough design points uh, to do so. However, we do have uh, some tire points, so we can take care of one of these. And from here, um, I believe it was his gearbox last time, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it is that's causing him to crash out so quickly. I mean, all of these seem still pretty good. I mean, his performance is very high up. So we're just going to leave it at that. I mean, we're our cash flow is not good. And so we need to keep an eye on that. Um, we still need engine points to be able to bring this engine mapping up, um, get more green zone. So our setup will give us a boost. Uh, facilities, we can't really do anything. Contracts, um, I, I really wouldn't mind losing Zelich. I mean, he's a, he's a pretty decent driver. Oh, he's not stable. Um, but his salary is is pretty high. Uh, his reputation is good, though. I mean, he just needs to... Two races, zero points. And we still don't have enough research points. Where was the research? Uh, negotiation, sorry. We need 21 to be able to search for new um, sponsors here. And we don't have any messages or anything. Yeah, we need 21. Okay. I don't think we have any other housekeeping to do. Let's just see this real quick. And this is reflecting the weekly loss so our salaries are the big big chunk here so if we can find someone that has a bit of um, potential we may stick them on instead of Zelich when we lose him at the end of the season but let's even take a look to see if we can see like what potential looks like Or do they just get better? Yeah, like look at that salary. <coughs> Although, I mean, they're not a great driver. Um, yeah. Well, let's, let's see which which one is it? Desired role? No, that's not the one we're looking for. Can all of these drivers drive in like all of the championships? Because I see, you know, there's like carding and whatnot. Quick tires, feedback. No, these are all stats now. Okay, so I'm going to assume everyone can, can drive for anyone else. So let's see. So it's very good speed here, but everything else is absolutely terrible. Contract details. Let's see. What what I'm curious about is if the stability, if we find someone with high stability and high concentration. Let's see here, stability. 
Oh, what is that? Plus minus what? Four eighty three. I mean, those just don't don't uh, go in wet weather here. I I'm not sure what these numbers mean. So he's at 997 in the red, negative 997. So look, Zelic has good concentration. Stability is a little low. Um, Don Collins, which is kind of running away with it, I believe, has a lower salary than, than Zelic here. Oh, Zelich is negative 997 as well. Okay, so I'm assuming that means he's not too happy. Good concentration, low stability. Seven and seven here. Four eight, no. Okay, well, that's enough looking around. I don't want to spend too much time here. Um, we'll we'll take a look at the end of the season because that's quite a bit of chunk of our budget when he's not even finishing races and Corkmaz is doing a much better job and is on a fraction of those wages. So, <coughs> without further ado, let's move on. We have our race. Um, Oh, and Zelich is starting to get a little older now. Now, I I understand, you know, obviously 33 is, is still pretty young, but usually in sport, um, with being on the wrong side of 30, they, they start declining. Um, however, with, you know, sports science these days, that's not really that bad, but we are talking like we're in 1996. So 33 is fairly old I believe um, but we'll just keep an eye on his, his stats going down but let's continue to the race okay fast corners are a weakness here uh, for us because we're not fast our car is not fast um, overtaking difficulty medium but Zelich has a high one so it's, it'll be useful So there aren't many straights. Car set up. Ooh. <coughs> Might be wet. Alright, so why don't we try wet weather? <coughs> and we want reliability for this. Okay. Wet weather worked out. And so fuel economy. Oh. Yeah, again, like why is it so different here? I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out. If if anyone does know, please please make a comment. Um, I'm really confused on how this works here. Okay, so what do we need? Let's go for the racing simulation. Twenty laps left. Let's do another sixteen. Get some engine points. Okay, and then the last four. Get some tire here. Eleventh and thirteenth. No issues with the car. as per usual all right so he is going to go on hards first and then double soft okay there's only 51 laps um 
Why does why does he get? Hold on. So you're gonna go oh 21 laps. Oh I see. It was a 21st lap. 15, 15. Um No. I, I want him to go on softs as well. <coughs> He'll go 14 14. Yeah, he'll come in one lap earlier or two laps earlier. Now, why don't you go 20? Oh, sorry, that's fuel. Um, yeah, 20. Can't choose 20 here. Oh, plus minus one. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, go 20. 17. Well, how many laps can the hearts go? Is this what it's telling me? He can go 14 laps? Oh, he can go because of his stats. And he can go 15. On them, I mean, we're, then we're going 17. Oh, is that why they put him on the hard? Because he's unable to. Okay, that makes sense now. So you can go 20 laps. Um, then let's go 19, 19, 18 laps fuel. Okay. All right. So Corkmaz's tire. Tireware is not as good as Zelich, so that's why we have to do that. Now we're headed to the race in China. Um, let's see if Zelich this time can actually last. We're about to get underway. Let's race. And here they go. Don Just keep an eye on the Zelich here. With his high overtaking skill. And I do like to switch to this view on the time. Because I don't really care how far we are from first place. Because we're not going to get there for a while. <coughs> and we are getting further away from 12th here. Zelich still in this thing. Uh, but he is getting further away. Let's see. Okay, so the person in front of him is on hards as well. Take a look at yeah. So there's a the back markers have their own group here. <coughs> then you have first through third kind of running away with it. You have another group, another group, and then this big group here. And it looks like we're not really going anywhere. Yeah, we're just getting further and further away from that group. And Corkmas drops. Uh oh. Come on. Third race in a row. I'm, I'm really disappointed with Zelich. Now, 
what will Korkmaz do? Korkmaz still leading here, but... Gets into the pits. Currently in last. Or not last, but... Down there for sure. Takes... Yeah, goes into 19th now. Let's speed it up. We're just about getting to halfway now. He's catching up. Let's switch over and take a look here. He's part of that group and he's in last right now. <coughs> I, have to, I have to look at his stats again. I don't know how good his overtaking skill is. But we do have it on attack him. Um, temperature looks good. We could, we could go a little harder. He's right on the tail. He's got to make a move here. Here they come. Nope, Corkmaz does not make a move. John Collins in the lead. Hong in second place. Krieger in third position. Still, still at the last part of that of that group. The the problem is when you're part of the, a group that big, like if you make a move to take the inside or whatnot. One of the problems you're going to have is there's no space. And uh, he does take one spot. So he, there's a risk of, of crashing. Oh, no, he, he loses it again. So, yeah, like, like if he took the inside there, for example, or he made some sort of move. There's risk of crashing into like the, the second or third driver there. So he's gonna have to kind of do this one at a time. But now he's got two behind him that are kind of breathing down his neck. And I did not pay attention for a moment. And the tires heated up a little too much. Bring it back down quickly. Casaza is heading into the pits. Malcolm Hong in the lead. Paolo in second place. Run it a little bit. He's still in 19th. I mean, he's right on the tail. Oh, and looks like a bunch pit. So now he's part of a smaller group where it might be a little bit easier to make a move here. tries but there's just not enough power in the car right now especially on those straights to really just like pull away oh we're still dry there was a <coughs> there was a 40 percent chance of rain in the beginning but it looks like it's going to stay dry <coughs> it's still pretty high up on the temperature. A 
Oh, sorry, he should be coming in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that off. And no, he's still out. Oh, okay. So this is the lap he's coming in. Now I wonder how how far low we can get to on this because I think in in Motorsport Manager once you get under like twenty percent, um, you start having issues. Okay, temperatures back to being okay. All right, he's three seconds off. Let's switch over. All right, so he's catching up there. Okay, let's switch over now to view. So he's part of a mini group behind this other group right now with one driver ahead of him. Can he, well, takes a bad line. Collins currently, fast slap. Was that 156? 156, wow. And our best lap is 159. Although, how consistent have his laps been? Two or four, that's the first lap. On the hards. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that big difference on that last lap. Where we had barely any. We lost lots of time on that. Or is that, does that include the pit time as well. That might include the pit time. But 159-109, 39th lap, is about our best time there. We're still a ways off. Sitting in 13th now, Korkmaz. With either the better car or Stability wise, I'll have to take a look at his stats afterwards and see if we can find some sort of correlation between Corkmaz, at least so far, right? I don't want to <laughs> uh, say something and get the commentator's curse uh, going, but but Corkmaz seemingly headed towards his third race in a row where he's actually finishing the race um, versus Zelich, who's crashed out i think fairly early on in all the races i know in the last race it was like the first lap crashes out and this time lasted a little longer but i don't know what's going on we need to be able to find some sort of correlation because it can't just be the vehicle do we tell him to go easy next race and see what happens i'm not sure Switch back. Corkmas still trying to make a move here, but he's having a bit of difficulty. Lock the tires. That means he's got to go a little easy, bring the temperature back down. <coughs> Turn that off. There's a couple laps left. Let's see what it can do. What are we doing? We're at 70.2. Let's push the engine a little bit. See if we can steal a couple of spots here towards the end. Collins running away with it again. 30 seconds behind him. This is Bellucci racing, right? Collins wins it again. Here we are. Corkmaz coming in. Can he take a last minute spot? He cannot. 14th. All right. <clears throat> Only nine laps this time. 
Engine failure. I mean, his engine was at 100% before. Okay. So, let's take care of this here. The Collins wins the race. All right. Teammate qualification duels. Yeah. Corkman is definitely doing better. Let's check out Corkman's here. Concentration stability are pretty good. What is, so does this Chevron mean this has gone up? Oh, okay. So here's a problem. And that's why he probably is sitting behind those groups is that he's not aggressive at all. And let's see Zelich here. Yeah, he has the aggression, which probably doesn't pair well with his fairly low stability. Although his concentration is pretty good. I mean, I just, I'm just trying to figure out. Dyer's good to less lap time will fluctuate. Okay. Can we, can we switch their cars? These are wet tire issues. I wonder if this carries over to the next season. And I have no idea what I'm doing here. See the, the setup zone. Okay, so <clears throat> it's basically, you know, you're going to give up some things and then you're going to gain some things. Um, so you have to figure out the trade-offs you want for next season. And I, I suppose that depends on the types of tracks you're heading to, but I don't know if you're able to see the, the breakdown of the tracks. Now if we go to calendar... Let me see. So we know this much, but like Yeah, I don't know if we're able to have a view into is this made up of more uh, low speed corners, high speed corners, how many straights there are the results page tell me? Nope, it doesn't. Our chassis is still not good. Okay, so let's... Fix everything here. This engine failure we're gonna have to fix. Spend a million here. That's the only way we can earn it. Mm. Okay. So we've definitely traded fast corners and tire saving on this chassis. For better drag reduction. Slow corners down force. But one thing that's that's really hindering Korkmaz is that aggression. And I wish I could focus on making something better. 
mean, everything else is not bad, right? Like, <clears throat> sure, the work with tires can get better, but like, for what we're paying and the performance Corkmaz has been putting in, not bad, but it's just just not aggressive enough in, in trying to overtake. We see him just sitting behind those groups and seems like he's pretty happy to sit there and not really making any moves. Whereas on the other hand, we have Zelich who has great stats, but can't finish a race. Let's see what's Korkmaz's oh, high reputation. Okay, we have 17 here and I don't think there's any other housekeeping to take care of so I thank you again we'll, we'll end it here thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe this video and um, we will continue next time